Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Crypto Kings channel. Um, yeah, today I'm going to be unboxing a couple of things. Going to start another project here. Um, yeah, I picked up this uh, AMD Reason. Uh, I think it's a two six zero zero CPU. When I was buying some other bits and pieces, it kind of got thrown in for th free, and I've been meaning to kind of try an AMD CPU rig. So um, yeah. I've, Went to Amazon, picked up a B450 Gaming Plus uh, motherboard um, for about 135 Oz dollars. Um, yes, it got delivered pretty quickly. I've got some other bits as well. I've got um, SSD, got um, DDR4 RAM, and I've also uh, uh, double on my camera stand here. Is I, I picked up a couple of um, more of these um, Gigabyte Aorus 850 watt PSU. So yeah, we've got pretty much everything we need to start cracking on with another rig. Uh, I've I've got some uh, some wood and board to sort of build up another frame here. So so yeah, so yeah, let, let, let's open this up together. Let's have a look at this uh, um, MSI motherboard here. Yeah, I've got a few cards left over for some other rig builds. Um, you may remember that the X99 um, build we did um, recently. I was hoping to get uh, at least six cards onto that. Um, but what I'm finding is a lot of these older um, motherboards, the X, the X series, um, I've done X79 and X99 boards, they really don't have the flexibility of the newer boards and some of the mining um, Sort of tweaks you can do in, in 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 the BIOS. So so yeah. So look, I'm I'm going to sort of start sticking newer boards now. So so yeah. Hopefully um, yeah, we've got a bit more luck with this um, B450 board. So interesting. Looks like it's actually open there a little bit. So yeah, we'll have a little squeeze inside. Make sure it's all good. Like I said, I, I do like to generally um, open uh, things I buy online. I have had a couple of incidents where I've had damaged things, which has been new things in factory, which is, uh, I've, I've kind of found uh, experience told me, just get a video of anything. If you're spending hundreds or thousands of dollars on, um, you know, items for, for, for mining, for your business, then, you know, just just take take it, take a video. It just gives you a little bit of um, evidence. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, nice, nice looking motherboard. Um, Good to see this is sealed up, so I'm not too worried about the uh, the tab there being open. So the, there's the motherboard there. Let's go down gently there, and looks like some other bits and pieces. So we've got like the uh, the plate for the for the case. Obviously, we're not going to need that because we're going to be using and abusing this uh, motherboard for mining. Um, and get some SATA cables here, which is nice to get a few of them thrown in. Um, got a nice little looks like a some badge or something here. MSI badge, looks pretty cool. Nice, nice touch MSI. Um, yeah, look, to be honest, I'm quite a big fan of the MSI stuff. Um, you know, the, the MSI uh, GPUs, the motherboards, I find they're really good. I like the BIOS, the BIOS is really easy to, to work through. Um, that said, we will have a good read of this and um, just go through some of the key settings. You know, again, uh, whether you're experienced or not, it's always good just to refresh key things you know when you're setting up your motherboards uh setting up hardware doing the software doing the bios you know quick read never hurt anyone you know um so yeah so that all looks good i'll probably put all that back in the box um i'll keep the sas wraps i'll use them somewhere um again another tip for me i always keep the boxes everything because at some point um you know if mining dies or i get bored of it um then we will can use these things for um to, to, to resell you know so it's uh, particularly gpus you know price is actually going up even for second hand gpus so keeping the box just helps add a little bit of value um i even see people selling the box on, on ebay so it's uh yeah crazy times so, so yeah there's the mobo let's let's open up have a quick look it's all still a bit like christmas getting these uh these things Beautiful, look at that, that's nice. So, so this motherboard, uh, you can put what I do, I might just put it here. Let's bring you guys down for a closer look. Let's have a look together on this. So, so yeah, so haven't done a um, an AMD CPU before. I think my understanding is the pins are on the CPUs, 
as opposed to for the Intel um, motherboards, the pins are actually on the on the motherboard. So it's a little bit interesting. I guess we just need to be careful as usual. Um, so it's got two uh, X16 slots, four X1 slots, and it has uh, yeah it has an M M.2 um, slot there, which will convert to a PCI X1 lane as well. So yes, yeah, so I'm quite hopeful for this board. We can get at least seven slots to plug into, and again. Being a newer board, not like the X99 or X79 boards, being newer board, I'm expecting we can put a one for four um, uh, riser um, ad adapter in there, so so we can um, hopefully you know get two, three, or four um, risers uh, in, into a slot if we need to as well. So I think my plan for this ideally is get probably ten cards on this. Um, whether it's possible or not, we will find out together. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Any any tips, comments? If you use these boards before, um, if you've got any good stories, bad stories, please share. Um, feel free to do some likes, uh, share, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll catch you soon um, as we start to progress this uh, this MSI B450 build with an AMD chip. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.